today I'm going to be cooking a pork loin in my pressure cooker and uh, this is this is how I'm going to do it first of all you got to understand I love going to Sam's and getting their big huge pork loin and then what I do is I cut it up those things are this big old long thing and I cut the two ends off and make uh, small pork loins um, for my husband and myself and then on the center part I cut it up and make pork chops and I use my uh, food saver to uh, freeze it and so what I've done this morning is I've taken this is a package that's been frozen so I've had it sitting in the sink with cold water so it can thaw and if you don't have one of these wonderful things you need one because this is a friend of mine uh, introduced me to the food saver and it has just been fantastic um, they just it's just great so uh, let me tell you a little bit about this particular model this one I recommend because it has I don't know if you can see this it has that dry and moist setting so when you're trying to um, seal stuff um, you need the moist setting it's very helpful and also it has a marinade and accessory setting now this is a little gizmo that we use so I'm gonna be using this thing today and I'll show you momentarily how this is gonna work um, this is the little box it's the marinator box that you can it's an extra attachment and I just love it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pork loin and I'm going to cover it with uh, olive oil. There's my olive oil and some rosemary, thyme, and basil. And then I'll put it in this box and I'll run it through its little marinade cycle. What it does is it, it does a suction thing and so it's, it's like it's massaging it and, and just really you know pulling those uh, spices and, and juices and um, marinating it just fantastic I know it really works great so anyway okay now this is this is what I'm gonna be doing and I'll show you momentarily what uh, my little pork loin is gonna look like okay I've taken my a uh, little pork loin and I rubbed it down with the olive oil and sprinkled it with the rosemary, thyme, and basil. So, and it's in my little marinade box. So, I'm going to take and put this lid on. Okay, I've got that. Well, I may have to I need to put this together and then I'll show you. Okay, I've got the marinade box all put together. And you can see the way this works is like you want to make sure that these two little pieces are sitting together. That, I guess, is helps it to lock up or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this is, it's only got these two, so you want to make sure they're together. And then you can see uh, this little arrow here. It's pointed on marinade. Oh, can you read that? Yeah, right here. Marinate. There you go. Now, when we finish, then we'll take and twist this around to, like, open it up. I don't know if you can see that. See where it says, well, I'm not doing so good, am I? Well, right there, open. So, that will release all the pressure, because what this is going to do is it's going to... Uh, create a vacuum seal and uh, it makes a real funky noise so uh, anyway then you put this little as you can see it's a little thing and you poke it right down in there I had to pull this little part off because this goes to use it for a different attachment so anyway this little this thing is just fantastic you need one all right now I'm going to turn this on and we're going to turn it on to the marinade. <laughs> okay, we'll check back later because what it does is it's going to do this a while and then it stops. And then it'll do it again and stop. OK, 
Okay, it has finished doing its marinade, so now I'm going to take and turn it to open. Hear it releasing? Woo! Okay, let's see. Alright. Now, there it is. This has been marinated. And it looks wonderful and it smells good too. So now I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear it, um, you know, like on all sides. And then I'm going to cook it. I'm going to cook it on high for about 30, 35 minutes. And then let it naturally release. So I'll show you the next step momentarily. Okay, now we're over here at the pressure cooker. And I Turn my pressure cooker on, and I'm, I've got it on browning mode, and I've put a little more olive oil in there, so I'll be putting this in there in just a minute, uh, and then we'll be adding a cup of water, too. Okay, I've got my um, pork loin in there, and I'll have a herb. Can you hear it sizzling? I'm going to let it just kind of brown on that side and then I'll be kind of rolling it around so it gets brown on all sides. Okay, I've flipped it over and it's browned on both sides so now I'm getting ready to close it up and I think I'll cook it for about 30 minutes. Well, it's come out of the pressure cooker and it looks wonderful. So I'm going to take a little taste. Well, let's spend a little Mm-hmm. Well, it's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So give it a try.